Beatrice, wouldst thou come when I call thee? Yea, Senor, and depart when you bid me. Oh, stay but till then. Then is spoken. Fare you well now. And yet, ere I go, let me go with that I came, which is with knowing what hath passed between you and Claudio. Only foul words, and thereupon I will kiss thee. Foul words is but foul wind, and foul wind is but foul <laughs> breath, and foul breath is noisome. Therefore I will depart unkissed. Thou hast frighted the word out of his right sense, so forcible is thy wit. But I must tell thee plainly, Claudio undergoes my challenge, and either I must shortly hear from him, or I will subscribe him a coward. And I pray you now, tell me, for which of my bad parts didst thou first fall in love with me? For them all together, which maintain so politic a state of evil that they will not admit any good parts to intermingle with them. <laughs> but for which of my good parts did you first suffer love for me? Suffer love? A good epithet. I do suffer love indeed, for I love thee against my will. In spite of your heart, I think. Alas, poor heart. If you spite it for my sake, I will spite it for yours. For I will never love that which my friend hates. Thou and I are too wise to woo peaceably. <laughs> it appears not in this confession. <laughs> There's not one wise man among twenty that would praise himself. <laughs> If a man do not erect in this age his own tomb, ere he dies, he shall live no longer in monument, and the bell rings and the widow weeps. And now tell me, how doth your cousin? Very ill. How do you? Very ill, too. 